Hello and welcome to this short video on asthma health apps. My name is Dr Tom Micklewright and this video is meant for GPs like me and other clinicians who are regularly seeing patients about their asthma. Now you've probably found over the last few weeks that you've had a lot of contact from patients who are worried about how this pandemic will affect them. This last week I've fielded calls about what patients should do if they start feeling unwell, about whether they're in the high risk category and need to shield themselves, and whether they should be increasing their medication or starting rescue packs just in case. It's proving very difficult to deal with, and it makes us ask the question, well, what should we be doing to help these patients? And I think the best thing we can do at this time is to empower them to self-manage. If we can do that, we can support them to stay in self-isolation, we can reduce their anxiety, and we can guide them to seek the right help at the right time if they do become unwell. And that's where digital health comes in. ORCA, the Organisation for the Review of Care and Health Apps, has a app library that anyone can search to find health apps as well as reviews of their safety and effectiveness. But they've also pulled together the key apps they think will be most helpful during the COVID pandemic. And they've hosted these in a COVID specific microsite. Why does that even matter? The reason that matters is unless we want to expose our patients, our staff, ourselves to infection, all whilst wearing a thin plastic pinny and a paper mask, we're going to have to manage more patients at home. Health apps can help with that. So I've been using the Orca app and through there I came across three asthma apps, which I think are the best asthma apps out there at the moment. And I'm going to go through each of those in turn, exploring how I think they might be able to help and where any potential shortcomings might be. And these apps are the My Asthma app, the Zephyr Guide, and the Smart Peak Flow. Before we start, though, I should say that aside from them sending me their kit and their licenses to try out, I really have no financial or commercial ties to any of these companies. So let's begin. <laughs> 